Now let's go a little further with mixing our amp plugins. Previously we used the effects that were built into them. For example, this we had tremolo on right there. Play it down. What we want to do is add a little space with some reverb and delay. I've got an aux end set up here for a spring reverb. We'll use the Roland 201 Space Echo, which has some great guitar sounds in it. Call up a Spring to Life preset. It's a good way to start, once again. And let's solo that up with the aux track. There we go. There's various parameters to adjust on this, but let's start with the reverb volume. Turn it up. Two of the easy parameters to start tweaking would be the reverb volume here and the output volume here, or the master volume. Let's move on to the delay. Like the reverb, we have it set up using a bus send to an auxiliary which the reverb resides on. Now with the delay, we'll use another classic, which is the Echoplex EP34 from Universal Audio. And there it is. You can see it has an eighth note echo delay. That's the preset. Of course, we can change that, depending on the needs of the song later. But first, let's see how it sounds in context. There's our eighth note echo. The recording knob here sets the level. Push it up a little. Sync is available here, which means it's synchronized via eighth notes to the tempo of the song. That can be changed like that. Okay, close it out, and then let's go and put them both in. Once again, we want to keep muting to hear where we're at. Quite a big difference. Great. So that was spring and delay on one of the plugins. On the next plugin, we're going to use a reverb send to call up a room sound and put some ambience on the guitar. We'll call up an Oxford reverb. I like to use this one because there's an equalizer in the reverb tail section, which helps you tweak the sound. All you do is grab these dots. We'll turn the equalizer sections on. These various frequencies help me tailor the sound, and I wanted to make this room a little darker than it is naturally. You can do that by removing some of the highs. Once again, I'll turn the aux up loud. Put them all in. Nice, that's a pretty big guitar sound. But let's listen with the rest of the instruments. On solo, there we go. Once again, we're always going to keep making adjustments until we get what we want. There we go. We added delay and spring reverb to one amp simulator, and the room sound to the other to make a nice blend.